somebody to come perfect. You expect somebody to come all together. I'm talking about you want them successful. You want them with great communication. You want them 100% healed, no baggage, no trauma. You know, I'm talking about no addiction. You, you, It's so many people out here who looking for perfection in a significant other. It does not make sense. And then by the time the most high challenge you, because you don't, for one, you, you in error when you go into the most high deal. You, you, and they telling you, you need to spray, pray specifically for what it is that you want. Do you not understand? We, we talking to, we talking to about the most high who's the most, it just did who's who's nothing but love what makes you think he's about to send you something perfect when all he had to do when all he's been doing is sitting up there loving imperfections he's been sitting up here forgiving sins and forgiving and loving on flawed people who are broken and you want him to send you somebody pro perfect he don't have a perfect vessel out here so i don't understand why you even expect him to send you that you want him to send you i'm talking about you want all of these checks knocked out and the same he's sitting up here and having to work on every single vessel on this planet he don't have one that fits your checklist he going to send them and, and, and expect y'all to love on one another and help each other get to the place of what y'all praying for. Because that's what he expect from you. When he said, draw near to me, I'm going to draw near to you. That's the same way you got to treat your relationship with somebody when you're trying to step in the gap of un unconditional love. Because that person ain't coming perfect. I ain't saying let nobody run over you. You know when the most high send you somebody in your life, whether it be a friend or it be a spouse. And you know, and, and he going to send you, he going to give you the guidance and the wisdom on how to love a person through whatever they going through. Because I'm going to tell you something. I done experienced it before. I done experienced, listen, I done experienced the patience of a person that make you want to stop. Versus a person who trying to beat you over your head and force you to stop. It's a certain kind of love that you develop when somebody loving you correct, correctly that makes you not want to disappoint that person and let that person down. That's the same way when it comes to the Most High. When the Most High done kept blessing you, pulling you out of stuff, providing for you, giving you and doing stuff for you. At some point, you don't want to disappoint the most high. So that's, the, he just, he love you, he love you through it. These are the type of people that you, that you praying for, that, that that's going to come into your life. It's going to be somebody that come into, and it's going to be a bunch of things, that you, it's going to be a few things you might not like. But let me tell you something, that's going to be the person that was, that like nobody else, they hold you accountable though. They have good communication skill. They tell you the things that you that you need to hear versus the things that you that you want to hear. And, and 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 these are people that we tend to run off because oh I don't like that thing. I don't like this thing. I don't like that thing. But then you go to people who gonna give you. I'm talking about treat your ear like a trash can. They just give you a bunch of stuff that they, it ain't even gonna help you. And then, and then you run these folks off. And then you going and you looking. For something perfect. I'm going to say it again. How is it that you will fix your mouth. Pray to the most high. Send him your checklist. And he does not have a person. That I. That, listen I'm telling you. Because the most high said I knew you before the womb. The very person that you praying for. He know even if they check all that. This is going on with them. That is going on with them. They had this very well. A, a year from now, they probably going to relapse and go through this right here. Right now, they financially stable, but they can't see that the business probably finna take a probably finna take a slump about six, seven months from now. They, they, listen to me. You talking about the most high who know it's no way to fit that checklist, bro. He, he working on the very people and you. You making the checklist and he working on you as well, knowing you don't even fit the checklist. 
You want a person to come and deal with you. Your patience horrible. Your long suffering is horrible. Matter of fact, you still got mama and daddy issue and you think you're over me. You don't even know yet. You know why? Because the minute I seen you that man, you going to realize that you've been having daddy issue. And that's really why you want me to send that, that kind of checklist that you want because you've been searching for the father that you ain't never had in a man. And that's why your checklist looked the way it looked. The way it look you ain't even gonna realize them things you you got internal things going on that no therapist can really sort out for you the therapist can give you great advice but listen to me, it ain't nothing and ain't it ain't nobody in the world like the most high who know you because he created you quit asking for something when i'm telling you he ain't he's sitting up here having the love on us fix us correct us shield us guide us and you asking for something that is just not coming. It's just not coming. You're going to have to learn how to love somebody through what they going through and to the point of where that person is going to say, commercial break me, please. I did say allow somebody to run over you. You know when you love somebody who ain't ready to, who don't love themselves, who ain't ready to change themselves. You know when somebody manipulating you and taking advantage of you. We too grown for that. I'm saying you know when you see a person who is actually trying, a person who's worth the, the effort that you putting in. I you you know it when you see it because it 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 is it, showing their behavior, it's showing their actions that show that 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 is not going unnoticed. They know they don't, when you run into a person that, that, that when you fall in love with this person, you, you know for a fact that they affected by what was hurting you about them and vice versa. You know when, they, when you care about a person, you feel that pain that they feel when you done disappointed them or let them down and done something you ain't had no business doing. And that pain that go through you that you cause through them, it'll cause correction in you, man. It's the same way with the most high. You know he's sitting up there and ain't did nothing but love on you and care for you. Eventually, you're going to be in a situation that you probably went on and done it, and then you're going to say, no, nah, I ain't doing that again. You know why? Because that love from him done set on your heart, and you ain't going to want to do it again. It's the same thing when you fall in love, whether it be a friendship or a spouse. You're going to say at some point, I'm not doing that to that person. I know how it make them feel. And that person don't have to even be around you. You could be outside of that person's presence. And when you outside of that person's presence, you know, and it ain't even a controlling thing where I'm on my best behavior. It's the love that this person done, done put in you and showed you. And you know to carry yourself a certain type of way because now you know that how this person, come on, man. That, and that, that's, that's just what it is. That's just what it is. It's just what it is, man. And it's growing, man. And, and listen, man, growing, growing, uh, growing is a beautiful thing, man. Growing is a beautiful thing.